If you have ever worked with PDFs, invoices or scanned documents, you know the pain. Extracting data from unstructured file is one of the most frustrating part of automation and data processing. We waste hours trying to copy paste data, cleaning up, formatting and manually entering values. What if I told you that you can extract structured or unstructured data from any document, whether it's PDF, image, spreadsheet or even handwritten forms using AI and zero code. Yes, you heard it right. There are such solutions that can help you to achieve this without coding. Before we dive into the tool, let's understand why this is such a big deal. Over 80% of the world's data is unstructured. That includes PDFs, contracts, receipts, reports, scanned images, forms, etc. The data that doesn't fit neatly into rows and columns. Unstructured data hides massive value. Extracting this information enables you to improve reporting accuracy, automate manual data entry, trigger workflows automatically and most importantly, save hours every week. But the challenge? Every document looks different, the template is different, the layout is different. You can't build one template that fits all. Traditional OCR tools fail when layout changes. So how do you make this work? without coding or without even templatizing it. That's where Unstract come into picture. Unstract is a no-code open source platform that helps you to extract data from unstructured documents using LLMs. It's designed to make AI-powered document processing accessible to everyone, from developers to data analysts to automation professionals. Here's how it works. You simply upload your file, whether it's PDF, CSV, a Word doc, image, or even a scanned document. Define what you want to extract. For example, get a customer name, get a sure name, extract invoice total, or fetch customer address. Simply hit run. Within seconds, Unstract gives you a clean JSON output with all the structured data neatly organized. No code, no template training, no layout mapping. Just AI doing the heavy lifting. Once you hit unstract.com, you see this page and you get you can get started for free. There are three offerings, Unstract Cloud, LLM Whisper and Unstract Open Source Edition. Cloud is a fully managed platform. You don't need to install anything. You just create your account and get started. For trying out LLM Whisper, you can try it for free. It's forever free for your trial stuff. And if you want to explore more, you can register play around with this technology then we have unstract open source edition you click on quick start it redirects you to the github repository from where you can read the instructions from the readme file and get started so as part of this walkthrough i'm gonna show you unstract cloud i'll quickly close this and go back to the unstract website and from here i can click on start 14 day free trial as soon as i click this it will ask me to create an account through google or through any email account email id you want to use as soon as you register you'll see a interface like this a landing page where you see how many pages you have extracted the kind of tokens that are provided to you and it is 14 days so i have already been using it and nine days are left for me so if you if you find 14 days are uh, not enough for you trial you can create another account with another email id or you might, might try reaching out to the team to the unstract team they might help you you can choose this option to schedule a demo to know more about this product going coming back to the unstract as soon as you create an account make sure that you set this up set all these settings for example you can set the llm that you want to use like openai cloud gemini vector dbs your embeddings text extractor connectors stuff like that as soon as you click on llms you get an option to create a new llm profile azure gpt 4.0 is available as already configured llm but you can select a new profile from here you can choose the models the llm models that are provided to you and you can create like for example if i want to use olama just 
mention the name of the model that you want to use, the URL where you will be connecting to the Olama server, context window and request timeout and test connections and get it added. We, al we already have this, so we will prefer using this. Then in, if you go in vector DBs, again, you can create similar to that. You can create new vector DB profiles and choose from the list of available vector databases. In embedding also, you have different embedding models that you can choose from AWS Bedrock, Vertex AI, Azure OpenAI. In text extractor, you have access to LLM Whisper text extractor and then you have access to other text extractors as well. You can choose from and play around with different extractors. In connectors, you can manage connectors for your data sources. You can click on connector, add different connectors. It can be Google Drive, it can be SmySQL DB, Dropbox, your share drive for your use case. And you can play around with different settings here, but these were the few important settings uh, to configure that you can configure and get started. And in the manage section, you can see here, you will be able to see the overall usage in the dashboard. Then in the deployment, API deployment, uh, you will be able to see what kind of APIs you are uh, deploying, you are creating workflows in ETL pipelines, task pipelines, logs, all these you can see. This is kind of your dashboard view here. Then the very interesting feature which I like is Prompt Studio and workflows. In Prompt Studio, if you go here, what you can do is you can quickly select one of the and it will give you option to upload a PDF document from which you want to extract the data. And here you can specify what you want to extract from this particular document. For example, I have specified applicant name and I am using a GPT-4 O model for this purpose. So you can use different, different models for extracting different, different fields. For example, citizen ship field i wanted to extract with some other model i can very well choose that option i can change the model here so it is you can use multiple models to extract information from the same document that provision is available and as soon as you see here like combined output you will get all the data in a form of a json structured json format so think of it in this way Prom Studio is Unstract's no-code playground where you can create, test and refine prompts that extract data in natural language. You can play around with different options here. Click on raw view of the document. You will be able to see the content that the PDF has. For somehow this is not getting loaded here for this document. Then you can similarly sh see the summary view as well. And then from here you can manage the documents. You can up uh, what are the document that you have uploaded you can upload multiple other documents as well then you can export this solution or you can deploy the solution as an api these are few options available for you to run the prompts so for example let's go down and run any of the one like marital status for example so if i click on run this only this section only this prompt so it should fetch the information about marital status whether married separated or unmarried we have provided this prompt here and based on that prompt so this option is ticked here, selected here. So it has fetched that information. If you click on run all the prompts, then it will run all the prompts for this current document. If you click here run all the prompts for all the LLMs and documents, since we have one configured one LLM. So if you click here, simultaneously, all the prompts will run, will execute and you will get the information in this format and if you go to combine output this is how you will see the entire json response now let's choose to export this solution export as a tool we have option here export as a tool export as json so let's say we will export it as a tool because i want you to show a workflow option custom tool exported successfully we'll close this up and let's go out. There are a few more settings you can play around while you are extracting and playing around with multiple other documents. If I go here in the workflow section, you can add and create a new workflow. Let's give it a name. So we are building a test workflow for the purpose of this demo. And as soon as I click the workflow, this is how you get option to set up your workflow. You can configure the connector 
for example it can be a file system or api if you choose choose file system you can configure right what would be your input to this workflow so if it is a shared folder where your files reside you can configure that or if it is an api from which you are expecting a response like a documents you can configure api so if you click on configure it will ask you to select a connector which we have seen earlier we haven't created any connector that's why it is not showing us but if you quickly go here and if you click here in the connectors and you create one then it will show up in the list second if we can configure here as a destination connector it can be a database where you want to store the results of this extraction or it can be again to one of the file system so depending on what you want you can click when you configure database again you have to select from one of the existing database connector for now let's keep it file system it doesn't matter whatever we keep we don't we don't have a connector configured but you can configure that select any of the project that you want to configure to for example we have seen there were four such uh, projects but for now we have exported this so it is showing up in the list let's select that and deploy your workflow so deploy as a task option is only available at the moment if you click on deploy work as a task it will be deployed and then you have an action panel here how to run the workflow and the options to run workflow if i click here run workflow it will trigger the automation yes it will fail because we have not configured the input source and output source. we have just selected that option but this is how you can configure and set up the workflow and this is how it all your workflows which you have created will be appearing here you can differentiate between organization level workflows and your workflow if you go back to prom studio here you get an option to see already existing projects or already created projects and from here you can create new project similar to these and you can choose icon description and these are some basic settings you can do and then upload your pdf files for extraction you can also import projects if you have some projects residing on some of the drive you can import the file should be strictly in .json format what makes unstrack stand out is how developer friendly and flexible it is you can integrate it with your automation tools use it for internal workflows or even power customer facing ai products while keeping your data extraction accurate and auditable whether you are working in finance operations or enterprise automation unstrack can save you hours of manual work by automating the way you structure information that's basically it for today's video on unstrack it is one of the best open source llm platforms for document data extraction and it's incredibly easy to use all the links you need are in the description below so definitely check it out make sure to subscribe to our channel for more deep dives on ai and automation tools follow me on linkedin check out our recently launched bootcamp the link will be given in the description and please do check out our previous videos there's a lot more content that can help you to level up your automation skills thanks for watching this is dipendra from automation feet helping you bridge ai and automation see you in the next one